He has great movement, and his jutsu are low-key great movement tools as well. What's going on, guys? And welcome to a brand new video on Naruto the Borto Shinobi Strikers on the channel. Of course, I am your humble and dashing host, Flaming Sharingan. What is going on? And you know the drill, guys. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, if you're new, what it do? What it do? Let's do. get it going, boys. This is the official Zabuza Momochi Season 2 gameplay showcase for you guys. And I feel like this is even more authentic because this is my first official game with the character. This one you'll see here is my first, and then the one afterwards is my second match. Alright guys, before we continue, I want to give a special shout out to my newest subscribers guys. Koi Broom, Sean Hoffler, Ami999KWT. Caleb Rudin, Spring Break Titties, and Sky with two wise guys, not talking vodka. Thank you guys so much for the new subscriptions. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. And again, thank you for the support and the subscription. Now, guys, I want to make this video kind of short. I don't want to get into too much detail about Zabuza because I'm going to save that for the um character breakdown so let's get right into it in this video i'm going to be talking about the cons and some of the pros about zabuza and my overall thoughts okay let's get it so for his pros up guys pros up first he seems to do pretty good damage his attacks seem to have a lot of priority once again i'm not going to get into too much detail super solid combos guys he has super solid combos now all of his jutsu have great utility I'll go more into uh, his jutsu when I do his character breakdown as stated before. But another note to note, guys, is that his ult is unlike anything we've seen uh, to this point in the game. It's amazing, guys. He has great movement, and his jutsu are low-key great movement tools as well. More on that later. So stay tuned and make sure to hit that sub button. Now, guys... He has more pros, but I don't want this video to be too in detail as stated previously, and I don't want it to be too long. Again, I'm saving all that for the breakdown. Now, the cons. Not talking Nintendo Switch now. Water Prison doesn't have super armor, which is a little bit annoying. Not going to lie, it's a little bit annoying, but I can see why they did that, but I kind of wish it had some super armor. And it takes a while to cast, leaving you vulnerable to attacks. Now, his Jutsu cooldowns, oh my god, guys. He has a pretty long cooldown on his Jutsu. Now, obviously, I have no official number since I still don't have access to Season 2 Pass. Hey, guys, speaking of which, guys, let me know in the comments below. Did I miss something? Like, why don't I have access to that yet? Let me know, do you guys have access to your Season 2 Pass? Because when I click on it, it keeps saying that it can't be displayed at this time. So, I'm not too sure about that one. Let me know, guys. Now, I could be wrong about this. I haven't really tested it fully, but it seems the enemy can still lock onto you if you are close enough during your hit and miss jutsu secret technique. Or maybe they just knew where I was because they seen where I casted it from. That might be it, guys. I'm not too sure. Uh, again, I have to test that a little bit more, but we're tearing this defenseman up. Now, he could have more range on his jutsu, but that's just me kind of nitpicking. Because TBH guys, truth be told, his range is pretty solid on his jutsu. Now, the meta with Zabuza, the overall game plan. Now, before I continue guys, big shout out to Pervy Sage for this information. I will link his channel in the description below. Now, yeah, like I was saying, the meta seems to be use water prison jutsu. Let it sit there for a while, let it marinate, let him drown for a second, and then use the Demon Hunter and peace out health bar, because uh, <laughs> I've done that a couple times, guys, when I can actually get the Water Prison off, and holy hell, it's on tier with the Firewire build that I have, guys. I will also link that in the description as well, guys. The health bar just gets melted. It's crazy. Now, my overall thoughts on the character. I think the character is really good. I think the character is super freaking fun. I'm going to say that again. I think the character is super freaking fun. I'm hearing people say that Zabuza really revived the game for them because they're just having a blast. 
And I don't blame them, guys. I can only imagine the smiles they had on their face while playing this character because I know I had the biggest of Chuck E. Cheese's on my face playing this character, guys. This character is a lot of fun. He's super finesse. I will say that he's super finesse. You really got to explore this character to really know what you're doing with this character. Like, you really got to put some time and effort into learning this character because you can't just go mash heavy on the square button and go straight Bardock auto combo. It doesn't work that way. But this character's range, again, is like one of his really strong points. I'm loving the character. Can't wait to get uh, builds out for you guys, showing you what I can make with the juices that he has to offer. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, and if you did, and if you did, you guys know what to do. Follow that protocol. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Ring that bell. I would truly appreciate it. Once again, guys, I have been your humble host, Flaming Sharingan. Love you all. Take care. I will catch you on the next episode of Naruto to Borto, Shinobi Striker on the channel. Take care. Love you guys. Peace.